On the night of September 2, 2018, an inferno that lasted four hours consumed some of the world's most precious artifacts inside Brazil's iconic National Museum. The building housed more than 20 million items from both Brazil and abroad. Officials blamed the fire on a short circuit in the air conditioning system, a lack of sprinklers and nearby water hydrants that were dry. Many wondered why there was a systemic lack of funding and neglect. We just had signed on uh, June 5th the contract that would give us roughly around $4 million for, for our institution. This is the irony of, of it all. Now the money arrived, after decades where we had absolutely no resources for this kind of investment, it arrives and the same year the, the museum completes 200 years and then the tragedy happened. Part of that money has been used to cover the roof of what was once a palace that served as residence of the Portuguese royal family in Rio de Janeiro and then converted into Brazil's National Museum. If the building itself held historical importance, much of the collection that was lost was priceless. Bones of Brazilian dinosaurs, Egyptian artifacts, and millions of insects, among other treasures, went up in smoke. The devastating fire severely damaged the main building, and most of its collection was reduced to ashes. But since the tragedy, staff are recovering more than expected. Thousands of items have been rescued from the rubble, and there are hopes that with the help from the international community, the museum can be brought back to life. Paleontologist Luciana Carvalho, vice coordinator of the rescue team, led CGTN inside the building. She says the museum will one day reopen. It is obvious we suffered a huge loss and we need help. For example, the mummies that, even if we recover the bones, is not enough to recover data. But on the other hand, there is the survival of ceramics, rocks, minerals and fossils. It will take some time for us to reopen to the public, but we will. The only artifact left on the main floor was a meteorite, weighing more than five tons, the largest ever found in Brazil. Also among the recovered items, parts of Luzia, the 12,000-year-old remains of a human skull, considered the centerpiece of the museum's collection. Meanwhile, dozens of the museum's staff are cleaning the suit and dusting off fragments found inside the building. It's a delicate job, says archaeologist Cleide Martins. Here in the lab, we are still not in the phase of restoring these objects. It is a first preventive conservation effort to save and avoid losing parts of the material. Containers are packed with recovered items. It could take years to finish classifying all the material. Replacing the collection will be impossible without the help of other museums. We will not be able to rebuild the National Museum without their help. Because our museum did not only house material from Brazil, we had material all, from, from all, all over the world. And at this point, uh, what we would like is that institutions from all places, including China, consider when we are ready, then that, that they would make donations of original material. From the rubble and despair comes hope as more items are recovered. Optimistic officials say the museum is alive and the research continues. Lucrecia Franco, CGTN, Rio de Janeiro.